Um, here's, here's what you don't want your car to look like. Those. So, this is my just doing an experiment. I've got a Chevy Bolt and I'm driving it from Los Angeles to uh, Phoenix. I've got show, I've got a private show tonight in Phoenix and then tomorrow I'm at Stir Crazy Comedy Club uh, in Phoenix and then Friday the 12th I'm in Tucson, Arizona. But I, I've never taken my EV this far. I have a 300 mile range, so I had to stop. I left it like five in the morning. We left at five. My first stop was in Indio uh, near a Walmart. And Walmart, say what you want to say about them as a company, they really beefed up their charging. And I charged there for about 70 minutes and then drove another 120 miles. So that was 140 miles. My car left, my, I left Santa Monica with about 310 miles. My car had been fully charged. And I got into Indio, which was 140 miles away, um, with about 115 miles left. So it's like a 60 mile, what we call it in the AV parlance, a burn on the freeway. Um, but now I'm just charging my car in the middle of the desert. We're about, we're about 120 miles from Phoenix. Literally in the middle of kind of nowhere. We're right off the 10 freeway. We're at a Love's, which is a just your average like gas. And this is one thing they've got. Uh, uh, this is so rare to see. One of the things when you as an as an electric vehicle owner, you never get to clean your windshield, right? Because when you're when you're driving a gas car, anytime you fill up gas, you clean the windshield, right? Well, you don't get, they don't have that, but this is because this is a Love's. They set up a little bucket with wiper fluid and cleaning and, and the, you know, the sponges and everything. I mean, so it's, it's, it's really cool, but we are in the middle of the desert, you can see. Gas is a good 60 cents cheaper in Arizona. We're just on the other side of the Arizona-California border. It is, uh, it is 11.15. Arizona is like Hawaii in that it does not change its clocks. So in the summertime, Arizona is on Pacific time. And in the winter, it is on mountain time. So this is, this is it. This is me charging my car. how much time I got left on my charger. Packed a little lunch, just had a little vegan, gluten-free frozen pizza that was I made the other night, had some left over. So we're at 71%. It's cost us $9.60 and we've been charging for 33 minutes. And this is my beautiful car right there. Look at it, gorgeous. So that's the truck and the auto side. You can see here, I've got 198 miles. I've got 15 minutes to be 80% complete, but I'm gonna charge it a little longer than that because I need it. So this math, when you're an EV car <laughs> owner and you're driving across you know, the country is, um, I'm gonna get out of the sun. Um, but you have to calculate. So it's a hundred and I'll tell you right now, it's uh, uh, 20 some miles to Phoenix. Um, so good thing I know math. Yes. And then you gotta always calculate in the what we call the burn. So like my battery would be fully charged to 300, but you can't, you're gonna lose, on the freeway you, you use more battery power. It's the reverse of a gas car. So in a gas car you get better mileage on the freeway. Electric, you get better range 
in the city because you're stopping and going. When you're... And this morning it got a little cold, so I turned the heat on a little bit. It was starting to get hot because I'm in the middle of the desert, so I turned the air on a little bit. But if you use the air and the heat for a long time, you really deplete your battery. Using the, the, the stereo, it comes from a different battery source. Yeah, like every EV also has just a regular car battery. And that is the thing that powers the basic stuff, the lights and the radio or whatever else. So, um, yeah, this is nuts. I'm just, I'm just having Zevia Cola, sweet with Stevia, but it has a little caffeine. Needed a little bump, you know what I mean? So what normally would be about a six hour trip is about eight hours because I have to stop twice and charge for about an hour. And I thought about it, I was like, I thought I was gonna rent a car and then it'd be easier, I'd get, but I was like, you know what? You know, if I'm an EV owner, if I care about the environment, I gotta, I gotta, you know, I gotta do this. So I wanna, really wanted to see and I, I have a Chevy Bolt and I know someone who has a Chevy Bolt and I asked them, <laughs> And they live in Texas. Have they ever gone long distances? They said they hadn't, but they know someone else who has the same car, Chevy Bolt, and they've driven between Texas and California. So, so about ten dollars to fill your EV in Denmark. I'm paying a hundred dollars to fill a tank and regular sized car. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> I know. So I will be driving to Phoenix, which is about 400 miles, and it'll cost me probably that this the charge in India was 17 bucks. This will be this will probably be about 15 too. So it's going to be about 30 some dollars to get to Arizona. So 60 dollars round trip, and I got to go down to Tucson too to do my show. Um, but. You know, I got a little cooler here with some snacks. It's all good. Just got a new cooler. God, I love cooler. This is my Cubs hat. I got this at spring training last year. Cubby, Cubs, Cubs, Cubs. Um, Cubs are not playing great. A little below five. Gamer 200, 500. They were playing good in April. I don't know. David's vegan. Graham. You brighten up my life more than you know. Thanks for being such a light and a seed of dark and vapid nonsense. David, thank you so much. And I appreciate you saying that because, you know, I want to say about a year and a half ago, summer of 21, it was getting kind of dark for me too. And I was getting a lot of attacks online. and It was really negatively impacting me. And, and a part of me was like, do I even want to keep doing the political vigilante? Like, is it a pain in the ass? And I just thought, and some good friends of mine were like, no, man, you just kind of have you know, change your attitude on it. And so now I'm just like, I don't, I don't, I'm not, a, you know, there's no like Bernie that I think is gonna show up and win and save everybody. I just, you know, so I'm making fun of it more and I'm just kind of looking at it as like, wow, this is ridiculous. And trying to have as much fun as I can as a comedian, because ultimately I'm a comedian, right? I'm not a journalist, I'm a comedian that likes talking about politics and I try to give as much information as I can. So. I'm just trying to make it as light and fun while giving information, and I'm glad that you like it. I appreciate it. I have a cooler. I have a cooler Cubs hat. One of the original orange-white Cubs I bought in Chicago in 2005. Right on, Martin. Nice. Cubby Cubs. I haven't seen them yet this year, but they're coming to play the Anaheim Angels the first week of June. So I'm going to go to one of those games. I'm gonna see my cups. So, this is life on the road as an EV owner. I love my Chevy Bolt. I keep it very clean, very clean car. It needs a wash. I don't like having a dusty car, but I was, I'm not gonna drive up to Arizona and back. Get it all clean, it'll get just gonna do it. So, um, yes. Well, Graham, you speak the truth to power. Very few. There are not many doing that. Thank you very well. Well, thank you. That's what, I'm, that's what comics we should be doing. We should be calling out the ridiculousness. And comics, like George Carlin said, should be punching up. We should be making fun of the powerful, the people that are in charge. So, that's what I'm doing. That is what I'm doing. Uh...
So I'm sure I'll do more of these little charging things. Uh, and you are a true comedian since reality has become absurd, yes. What's up, Steffi G's Revolution? Hello. Welcome. Steffi, if you're, if you're just joining us, I've been charging my electric car. That's how much time is left. We're in the middle of Arizona. I'm driving to Phoenix, and so I'm taking my electric car. It takes me an extra two, it's two, two extra hours of charging. Two different one hour, roughly one hour, 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 ten minute charging trips. Um, Oh, dang, there's a truck driver, him and his wife and his daughter. The whole family's driving in the rig. That's crazy. Um, well, this is your last time. Hi, Graham. Nice, safe travels. All right, guys, I'm going to shut it down here in a little second here, but um, thanks for watching the show. Support what we're doing. Um, go to... Uh, Rockfin.com slash Graham Elwin. You and Lee should do a government seeks on the Hanford Project in Washington State. Ooh, I don't know much about that. I'll look into that. Thanks, David's vegan. All right, I'll check that out. We are doing government secrets this Thursday at 4 o'clock Pacific, 7 o'clock Eastern, one hour earlier than we normally do. Um, have a nice trip. Keep Gotham safe. We need you, absolutely. My first ever like legit road gig in an EV. It's pretty sweet. I'm glad I could make it work. I'm really happy with this. Uh, and I'm looking forward to being in Arizona. I got a lot of friends. I went to college at the University of Arizona in Tucson. So I'm gonna see a bunch of friends, which is great. Just got here concerned. I'm charging my EV. I'm in I'm in Quartzsite, Arizona. Five minutes left. Probably 10. That's 5 minutes to 80%. I'm going to go a little past that. So we've been charging a total of 42 minutes. We're at $12. We'll probably get to about 15, 16 bucks. Um, so. Yes, but I am in Ares, it's, I'm Air, Phoenix tomorrow, Thursday, May 11th. I'm at Stir Crazy Comedy Club in Phoenix. And then Friday, May 12th, I'm in Tucson, Arizona. Go to GrahamNola.com for tickets. If you guys have friends in Arizona, tell them about Both to the screening room in Phoenix and Stir Crazy, both little 100 seat menus are very cool. I was going to rent a car concerned, but then I was like, it was 300 bucks for the three, four days. And I was like, you know what? I'm not doing I just thought about it. And I was like, and the other thing too, this is something you might not know about being an EV owner. That was a truck. Um, when it's warmer, your batteries can can go longer. It's a weird thing. Um, so my range is now 310 on my car. It was like 260, 270 when it was a lot colder, but now that it's starting to warm up, it's crazy how it makes a difference. Uh, when am I going to be in Myrtle Beach? I have no Florida shows as of now, um, but I'll let you know. The town that housed the worker who produced the plutonium that went into making the atomic bomb dropped on Nagasaki in Washington State still to this day as a mushroom cloud as their school mascot. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, that's gnarly. God. In America, would be celebrating the destruction of his town and killing people. Oh, what are you doing? Um, Miami needs you, Graham. Come back soon, please. I will. Uh, I'm trying to set up shows in Florida. The club, the Have Nots Comedy Club, they, they lost their venue during the pandemic, so they're just doing little one-off shows, so I kind of lost the, the promoter. Uh, really good dude. Ron and I were going to do a show in March. 2020 and it got into the course. Um, I live on Olympic Peninsula, about three hour drive away. It's a whole another world out there. Wow. Um, well, I'm gonna 
the drop of the atom bomb still makes me furious. You know, they sh could have dropped it right next to the city in a non-popular area. Oh, I know. We did a whole government secrets on how Japan was back channeling peace, and we just said no and dropped the bomb. So, car cleaners? No, I'm charging my car. I have a Chevy Bolt, and I'm driving from Los Angeles to Phoenix, and so I'm charging here in Quartzsite, Arizona. There it is. We're in Arizona. Look at that. Um, anyway, guys, I got to get going, but I'm glad you were able to join me for this little car charge live stream. Uh, thanks for watching. Go to GreenMountain.com. Uh, boys, when I see the new toys, I know. Phoenix has started clearing out the unhoused people's encampment this morning. It's really sad. Oh, that's brutal. Yeah, now I wanted to see what would happen so messed up in training and basis. Yeah, I don't know. I love the video. Thank you. It sucks at Phoenix. I mean, that's the thing. They say, the you know, the blue cities, they just let the homeless everywhere. And then in the red cities, they go, we don't have a homeless problem. They just clean it out. It's crazy. My battery's almost charged. You guys are great. We will tune in again. Thank you so much for supporting me. Go to GrahamAllen.com and sign up um, for the, the um, newsletter. And there's a little field in the newsletter where you can put your, your zip code. Then I know where people are at and I can send you... When I see there's a lot of people in this city or town, then I, you know, we'll do, we'll do more shows there, so that helps. Um, thanks, everybody. Keep charging your car and uh, shave your knuckles for justice. Boom.